Hey guys, it's Ankur Dev here, bringing you a tutorial on how to make a soundboard application for the iPhone Next Code. And what I've made is a couple of images to go along with the sounds. So I've made a bell with a bell um, image for the button, a boing for the boing image of the slinky, phone dial and iPhone 4 to click on, and a servo for a servo mechanism image so we want to play them by their own images so once you've made your own images or use mine go to Xcode go to file new new project you want to make it a view based application and we're going to call it soundboard and make it device family for the iPhone next and put it on your desktop and just before we start the tutorial if you want to Build for the real iPhone, go to build phases and click on this, um, the arrow here. Click add and you will drag in the AV foundation. But we're not going to do that because we're going to build it on simulator. So you're going to go to finder, go, computer, Macintosh hard drive, developer, platforms, iPhone simulator dot platform, that's um, crucial, developer, again, then. SDKs, iPhone Simulator 4.3 SDK, then System, Library, then Frameworks, and we're going to drag in the every Foundation Framework and put it in the Frameworks um, folder and copy item to destination group folder. Click Yes. So once you've done that, drag in the framework. You want to drag in the media folder with all the sounds, and the images, and now we can get started. So go ahead into the header file and we're going to import the framework we just imported. So AV Foundation slash AV Audio player.h. Start for that. And here you want to have arrow to the left. And we're going to import the AV Audio player delegate to come up for you. And then a curly bracket. And it make you enough one and once you press enter. Underneath the second curly bracket, you want to put minus IB at action and play sound one semicolon. And then, because we're going to play four sounds, you want to copy this three times more and you're going to rename uniquely. So, play sound two, play sound three, play sound four. So, that's it for the header file. So, once you've done that, we're going to do the implementation file. Under the implementation, you want to write minus IB action play sound one. Make sure you get it right. Play sound on semicolon, not semicolon, um, curly bracket. Then underneath, in between the curly brackets, you want to write end the string. Asterisk path equals open bracket open bracket NS bundle main bundle open bracket um, close bracket path for resource and the NS string is at bell that is what the first um, sound we're going to be playing at bell and the type is at so speech marks MP3 speech marks and then M close bracket semicolon. Next line, AV audio player, asterisk the audio equals open bracket open bracket AV audio player allocate close brackets in it with contents URL come up for you and the NS in its open bracket NS URL file oh it's loading. code it's, so it's file you are the path and the inner string is path close brackets in the error capitals you have to get this right null close brackets semicolon and then underneath you want to write the audio should come for you dot delegate 
equals self, semicolon, then open brackets, the audio, play, close brackets, semicolon. And you want to copy this three times more, three times more for each sound. So play sound on will change to play sound two. Copy again, and we're gonna call it play sound three. And then next one play sound four. And we're gonna also rename the sounds uniquely. We don't need to rename the extension uh, format because it's all the same. So we're gonna put boing. It's the second sound we play. Third one will be phone dial. And the fourth one will be a servo. So if we go ahead and just build, just receive no errors. So once you've done that, we're going to get the buttons to click. So we're going to go ahead to the interface builder and where it says view, go to the right side of all the objects you can drag in. I'm going to drag in the round red button. I'm going to resize it to whatever size you want. You can make it big or small as you want. And where it says type round erect, you want to change that to custom, so you just have the image, and the image you're going to use is bell, and we can also copy and paste this so the image is the same size. So the next image will be boing for the slinky, copy again, and then the next image will be the iPhone 4, and then the last image will be this server. We could also change the background colour by going the same place where this little slider is and make it whatever colour you want. You can make it ye red, yellow, purple, but we're going to make it white so it's more visible. So, once you've done that, you want to go to the file zone to link them together. So, place down one is for the bell. You want to choose touch up inside so when the user clicks and let's go, it'll play sound. So, touch up inside, place down two for the um, slinky, play sound 3 for the phone dial and play sound 4 for the server mechanism so once you've done that go ahead and run it it's loaded should receive no errors and if we go ahead and click a sound have the phone dial the server mechanism the boing sound and also the, the bell. So this has been a Zencore dev tutorial on how to make a sampled application for the iPhone on Xcode. Please like, favorite, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Uh, it's been Zencore dev and I'm out. Peace.